Hi, my name is Bill. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this uh, six minute video, we're going to take a look at uh, a little surprise I got when I came down to uh, check for some fishing on the uh, Harpers Field covered bridge in Ashtabula County, Ohio. Uh, we using the Evo here and uh, I'll give you a little bit uh, information, background information on this bridge, which I've shot many times in the past. It's originally built in 1868 and uh, there was you know some damage done to it in um, 1913 which was the reason for that steel uh, structure that you saw at the uh, front end of the bridge um, and the last time that they did any extensive work uh, restoration work on this bridge was in 1992 so it's been 30 years since they did any kind of uh, restoration work on it and thus uh, they awarded a six million dollar contract to some local contractors who are going to spend from now until December of 2023. That's about a year and a half away to uh, completely uh, restore and re refurbish this bridge. Now they're going to be taking down the entirety of the bridge. The top, the sides, the floors, everything. They're going to be taking it down saving as much wood as they can from the original structure to be reused when they put it back up and anything that's rotted out they're going to you know of course replace but and I suspect they'll probably be putting a, one of those steel roofs on the top which they've done on a couple of other covered bridges that were restored um, I'm using the Evo here and flying you know fairly close to these guys and they, they never even even paused or noticed that I was flying because the water running over the uh, dam and eel trap that you see just to the uh, uh, other side of the bridge are making enough noise that they couldn't couldn't hear my uh, UAV uh, uh, above them which was pretty amazing so there's a guy there, there's a foreman down there inside and his two workers and uh, you know they're carefully disassembling things and then hauling the, uh, the, the stuff down to the south end of the bridge where you know they're starting down here at the south end and working their way back now as I said they're going to take completely take down the, the bridge we're, we're going to zoom in a little bit uh, I'm using two egg zoom here on the Evo to get a little better look but they're going to remove everything save the things that they can and on the uh, north end of the bridge where you know they added on that steel uh, part of this uh, of the bridge they're going to disassemble that and galvanize it and then re, uh, put that back up. The reason they're taking it down is they're going to replace all the supports underneath. There's, you know, those concrete supports and uh, even some metal supports. They're going to even replace those. So I guess, you know, their, their thought uh, and their way of thinking. There you can see the steel end of the bridge uh, at the other end, of, down at the uh, north end of the bridge. But their, their thinking on this was that um, they wanted to... Uh, uh, you know, since it's been 30 years since any extensive work has been done uh, on this on this bridge restoration work, um, they want to do something now that's going to uh, preserve it for long into the future. You see that one guy that's on the scaffolding there; he's about ready to take a sawzall to a section of the uh, top of the roof, and <laughs> I, I kind of laugh because you know, when in doubt, grab a sawzall and just start <laughs> sawing away. But you know, he's gonna. Uh, rip through the that uh, eave or you know that the top part of the of the bridge and then just knock it down inside there and you know the the way he was working on this was kind of led me to believe that when it comes to replacing the roof they'll probably go with that new uh, steel uh, or metal bridge, uh, roofing material that I've seen around uh, in, not only um on these structures but even on houses a lot of the houses in the area are going to that uh, to the steel roofs so I mean they're very low maintenance and they seem to last a real long time so at any rate uh, since this is a project oh we, we, we kind of shifted around and and I want to get a different viewpoint you see that these guys are tied off with some some lines there but uh, I don't know I, I guess safety first you know they're standing on the scaffolding there but you can see the lines running to them um, but you know since this this uh, construction is going to be going on for a, over a year and a half 
uh, from this date not finishing until uh, December of 2023. I'm going to have plenty of opportunities to come down here. I think once they get the entire structure taken down, it's going to look so bare and so empty. I, I, I just can't imagine what it's going to look like with, without this bridge there anymore. I mean, because this bridge has been there for, you know, closing on two centuries. And, and uh, of course, it's, you know, a very familiar sight to anybody who lives in the area. At any rate, we were uh, heading back to the ranch here. You can see me standing on in the l little bit of shade that I found uh, <laughs> on the far side of the bank. And now we're going to, as we usually do with the Evo, is bring it in close, flip it around so that the sensors don't go off and then land it. But it's going to be uh, a, a lot of opportunities for me to uh, come down here and, and do shoots. I've got other uh, videos of, of this bridge and other covered bridges, so if you have any interest in that, uh, you know, look back in my video list. I've also got fishing uh, videos there. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Stop back again and leave a comment if you're uh, inclined to do so. Thanks.